Well, I need to see your prompt, but in general, like the first thing you need to know, and this is what we're going to talk about a little bit in, in a little bit, but the first thing you need to always understand is that ChatGPT is based off a large language model called GPT, right? And the thing that people don't understand is that what they're working with is a large language model, which basically means that this is a, a generative AI model that has been trained on billions of example texts. But that by itself means that what you're working with is a tool that is very, very good at handling text-based input, text-based data, and it's not necessarily always so good at, you know, um, any sort of numerical data, or it's not built to um, deal with numerical data. There is like, for example, ChatGPT, it has an additional extension or additional model, which is based off Python, which then helps or enables it to deal with some of these sort of numerical analysis, but it's not sort of its main function. And so depending on what data was in the file and how you fed the file or how you prompted it or how you referenced the file that you uploaded it and what is the format of the file, any of these things can, could have confused the model. And so a lot of the times when I work with with like agencies or sellers, it's all about creating a structure of what you need to understand in terms of how you can make co communicate to these models in order to get a good output. I see. Okay, so yeah, because I remember now it's been a while uh, since I did this, but uh, I remember it kept giving me the Python prompts. Yeah. So you can use this, you can use, it was an Excel file. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, a few columns as names and titles and industry. And uh, it kept giving me, and in fact, it couldn't read. It couldn't, I, I think I uploaded CSV uh, and it got confused. And, and then uh, I uploaded Excel. So like I said, in the end, I thought, oh, just forget it. I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but this is the thing, like, you know, it's funny you say that. Sometimes I say, um, you don't need AI. Like, I'm the first one to say, actually, for some things, you might be better off to just do it yourself, because AI is not so developed. But I also invite before you, you know, kind of give up on AI, first learn how to use it, because um, using tools like ChatGPT or Claude, which I'm a big fan of, is like is like learning anything. Like you know, if you are running, um, let's say, advertising on Amazon, you're not going to just get your employee and tell them, well, run it without training them or without showing them a process. Or if you want somebody to get really good at Excel um, and sort of be more advanced, you're not going to be like, okay, well, we open Excel and use it you will train them. So it's why why are we presuming that AI is not the same? Like you need to, these are very sophisticated models. There is a certain way to talk to them, to communicate, to relay the information that is important for them to understand so that they can give you these, this output. So learn what it is, how to do it, and, and then get an idea of whether it can do it or not. Great. Right. 